All the sleeping quarters are on the second and third floor, so at nighttime this is really critical. It's close by. Residents will be able to live at Indigenous Project Quebec's new second stage housing facility for a period of five years. So this will be their space, so this is their own space. Um, as well, they also have their shared rooms, so there's a living room, a dining room, a conference room. The three-story building is located in the city's Milton Park area, home to much of the city's unhoused Indigenous population. So, plusieurs personnes doivent se demander pourquoi le secteur en fait ça a été décrit comme euh, une crise humanitaire de par l'ombudsman de la ville de Montréal. Donc, PAC et les différents collaborateurs souhaitions venir là, euh, en, ben, adresser cette crise là. There actually are three floors of outdoor spaces that are accessible to residents. This would be the second floor, a residential space. As of July 1st, 14 rooms will be available for Indigenous people in recovery, along with indoor and outdoor communal spaces. This space is going to be the center for healing and catching people when they need to. Leilani Shaw is the executive director of the Montreal Indigenous Community Network, or The Network. I really hope that it gives a space for people to really heal and to kind of ask those introspective questions to themselves and, you know, kind of have a space where they can see the future for themselves. The program is culturally adapted and will have on-site caseworkers and elders. The goal is to provide programming and partnerships that support residents in their healing journeys. Shaw says that addiction and low self-esteem are the result of colonization. That shame wound that many Indigenous people feel, um, and that's kind of what having Indigenous-owned organizations are working towards, is kind of having a space for people to repair that, to uh, see each other, to have a sense of community in a really big urban space like Montreal. Joey Partridge is the director of the Reaching Home and Urban Inuit program at the Makovic Corporation. He says the Makovic has been looking for a solution to the crisis for a long time, and they want to provide as much support as possible. The program was funded by the Montreal Public Health Authority, the Network, and Makovic. Indigenous Project Quebec has a five-year lease on the building. But for now, the focus remains on welcoming the first residents to their new homes. Maricela Amador, APTN National News, Montreal.